The song She Loves You by The Beatles is only 2 minutes and 20 seconds long, but the phrase She Loves You is mentioned 13 times in the song. Well, what does that have to do with anything? If you have been following all the things we are doing here at Free Talk, the videos, the podcast, the course, everything, you know by now that I am a big fan of the Beatles. And not only the Beatles, the music in general. I think that music is a great, important part of my life in many, in many ways. A lot of people say that music is something necessary to live. Nietzsche said that life would be incomplete without music. A lot of people think that music is something that connects you to the world or that can help you go through some difficult phases or cheer you up. But today I want to talk about music in regard to language. A lot of people know that music can be a great tool to learn a new language. But the question always is, how can I use music to learn a new language? And that's what we are going to talk about today. I can start by giving you my own personal example. For me, music has always been something that has been part of my life in general, but also it has been a great part of my language learning. Before I started teaching or getting into language, I knew that I had learned a great, great deal of language only through listening to music. And more specifically, the Beatles. I think that I learned a lot of words and the language that I use and my pronunciation by listening to their songs over and over again. In fact, if you were to ask me, how do you know this rule or how do you know that word? In what particular context did you learn that? Who was the teacher? What was the class? What was the year? I could not tell you. But in a lot of cases, I can tell you, oh, that word, I learned it through this song. Or I learned the difference between this rule and that other because I listened to this song by the Beatles. When I was teaching, it was very common that students would ask me, hey, what is the meaning of this expression? And in my mind, the immediate answer was, oh, do you know that song by the Beatles? And they would say, no, okay. So then I had to explain it. Or what is the meaning of this word? And in my mind, I had that song and I said, oh, do you know that song? And they would say, no, and I had to explain it. So of course this was happening because those connections were the connections that I made with the songs, but it was a very personal thing. Now, what happened when we want to use music to learn? If we are listening to a song that we like, but it's in a language that we don't speak or we don't understand, the very first thing we do is we go and look for the translation. Right now with the internet, we can do that in two seconds. I listen to a song, okay, the song is nice, the tune is catchy, it's a good song, I don't know what it says, so I will go to the internet, I will find the translation, I will know what is the meaning of that song in my language, and now it's done. But when we do that, we are not doing anything to gain language. We are just doing a temporary solution for my willing to know what the song is about. But again, we are not gaining any language. So how can we actually use music to gain language? Now, this is the part where the name of this episode and the song She Loves You appear in the picture. The phrase is mentioned 13 times during the song. So let's suppose that you like this song and you listen to it very frequently. If you listen to it 10 times during a week, the phrase would have appeared 130 times. If you do that for a month, that's 400 and something times. Now, if you don't know what she loves you mean, 
it's going to make no difference because you are going to listen a sentence that you don't understand almost 500 times. But if you know what she loves you mean in your language, now you are going to be listening to something that you understand almost 500 times. Now, again, you only need to know what she loves you mean. You don't need to make an analysis of the structure or the grammar. You don't need to know that she is a pronoun for the third person feminine. You don't need to know that loves is the present tense of the verb love for the third person. You don't need to know that you is an object pronoun. You only need to know that she loves you mean something. If you translate it back to your language, maybe in Spanish, she loves you mean ella te ama. That is the only thing you need to have clear. Now, if you know that she loves you mean that in Spanish or in whatever your language is, you are going to listen to one sentence that you actually understand and know almost 500 times. Now, how is this going to help you? Well, after listening to that so many times, your brain will not allow you, will not permit you to say she loves you, for example, because it's just language that you have acquired and you know that is she loves you. And maybe somebody is going to say, why do you say she loves you? Shouldn't it be she love you? You will say, maybe, but I know it's she loves you. Because now you have this knowledge and now you have listened to it so many times and now you have acquired and now you can use it correctly. This is just one example, but a lot of grammar structures, a lot of words, a lot of pronunciation are going to come to you through music if you know what they mean. So this is one thing that you can do to use music to learn language. The first thing you need to do is to understand what the song is about. If you look for the translation, maybe you will find it, maybe you will make associations, but perhaps you will forget them because you were only seeking for immediate results. I want to know what that is. Perfect. A better way to do it is when you analyze a song, when you deconstruct it, when you understand every part of it, and then now that you have it, you can repeat it over and over and over again. And by doing that, you are going to naturally acquire the language. Now, music has better qualities than just audio. I, I am making a podcast to you to listen to it, but I know that sometimes listening to a topic it doesn't matter if it's really interesting. Listening to a conversation is not something that we decide to use or to do every day. But music is different. We can listen to the same song 10 times in a row, one time after the other, if we really like it. So if you have this song that you like it and you can understand what it says and then you can play it back again and again and again and then you sing along, you are going to almost inevitably learn that song and the language that comes with it. Now, we know here that music is one of the biggest tools you can use to learn a language. I have done it myself almost naturally with English and of course with Spanish. And I have done it in the same way with my other languages. And music is a great tool because it's personal, because you can select it, because you can repeat it, because nobody is going to force you to use music to learn. It's natural. It's part of you. And here, this episode is going to serve as the announcement of our new show. This new show that we are going to introduce tomorrow is a show about music. So let me tell you briefly what we are going to do. We are going to take in one episode, in every episode, one new song. And we are going to take the lyrics of that song and we are going to make that song comprehensible. So maybe when you listen to the song, you don't understand 
a lot of things or maybe any part of the song. So in this case, in this show, we are going to take that song, we are going to take the lyrics, we are going to explain to you the lyrics so you can make connections and you can say, okay, now I get what the song is talking about. And when you do that, you can listen to the song, but now it's a different experience because now you are listening to something that you actually understand. And if you do it very frequently, every day, that language is going to stay current. So you are not going to forget it. And soon enough, you are going to find yourself saying, oh, no, no, I know that this word is pronounced like that because I learned that from this song. I know that you cannot put these two words together because I learned that from the song. I know this group of words because I learned them from that song. And that is the general objective of this new show. This new show is going to be called Lyrics Inspector because that is what I am going to do here for you. We are going to take songs, we are going to take the lyrics to that songs and we are going to inspect them. We are going to check what each line is talking about. I am going to explain it to you in the most clear possible way. And then when that is done, you can take once again the video, watch it again, make sure you understand everything and then listen to the song. And that is what we want to do. We want to give you the tools. We want to give you the opportunity to use music to learn English. So we have decided what is going to be the first uh, song of this new show. We are going to premiere that show tomorrow. So you can come here and check what Lyrics Inspector is going to be about, how we are going to work with songs, how we are going to work with music to give you another tool, another resource to make your language learning more interesting, more fun, more personal, easier, etc. We have decided now on a few songs that we are going to start this show with, but you can start sending me your suggestions and tell me, okay, if you like this idea, you can tell me, Alan, I want you to inspect this song. Maybe you know the translation of the song in your language, but if you want me to inspect the song and explain to you what the song is about, you can send me your suggestions, leave me a comment in the comment section on YouTube, sending me a tweet, sending me an email, sending me a message on Facebook, anything. Just let me know what songs you want to see on Lyrics Inspector and I'm sure very soon they will be here. Tomorrow, before the first episode of Lyrics Inspector, we are going to have an intro, we are going to give more information about this show and I would really, really like to see your participation here and I would love to know if you think this is something that you were waiting for. So tomorrow we are going to have the first episode of this new show and I would really like for you to participate and to be a part of this.